What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, I am in a different filming location and I am super happy about it. It's been super hot in the Bay Area. In my house, I'm in the, in the upstairs room, so like literally heat rises. So it gets super hot in my room. So I decided to come downstairs and shoot in the living room because it's a lot more cool air when it's the living room. And I have a lot more space, so Thank you. <laughs> I don't even know why I didn't decide to do this earlier. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Venus Soleil. I am a drag entertainer. And from this channel, you're gonna get like a lot of different makeup transformations, primarily like drag looks and stuff like that. But I also try to incorporate like wearable makeup looks as well. So um, if you guys are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you guys are returning, you should already be subscribed. I don't know what the T is about that, but I need you to subscribe right now. And yeah, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do a talk through video today. I feel like it's been a while since I actually sat in front of the camera, actually spoke to you guys as I did my makeup. Um, I feel like I wanna be just a little bit more personable instead of just like doing a voiceover. Um, not gonna lie, doing voiceovers is like my comfort zone because when I talk through the video, I talk really fast. So sometimes I stumble over a lot of my words, but I'm gonna try to work on like kind of slowing it down and give you guys you know, not like a speed racer. Like I'm gonna go ahead and cover my eyebrows off camera. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys wanna see the updated brow cover routine. Um, but for the most part, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back and we can go ahead and start and get up into this makeup look. Let's go. As you guys can see, I went ahead and glued down my eyebrows. So now what I wanna go ahead and do is go on into moisturizing our skin. And I, if you guys have been watching a lot of my videos, you guys know have been into the e.l.f. Hydrating Booster Drops. These are hands down my favorite right now. Let's go ahead and just start to moisturize. When you guys are like, after you guys glue down your eyebrows, you guys are starting to put on the moisturizer part of it, just be super careful that you don't get, disrupt the glue because I've done this so many times where I start to like moisturize my skin and I actually go over my eyebrows, not the tea. All right, so now that my face is nice and moisturized, I'm gonna go ahead with my foundation. And the foundation I've been using is the LA Girl Pro Foundation. This foundation is like $5 on Amazon. Um, I bought these like in bulk, I bought like 10 of these, so I have so many of these foundations. Um, and they're super full coverage, so I definitely recommend this foundation if you guys are kinda on a budget and you guys want full coverage. LA Girl Pro Foundation is amazing. And it's an oldie and it's a goodie. And here's a quick good tip, you guys, especially for drag makeup. I'm a firm believer in, of course, getting a shade, of course, that matches your skin tone. But if you guys wanna avoid looking like ashy and like super flashbacky, especially for darker skin tones, I like to go a little bit darker with my foundation, either either my foundation shade or a shade darker, because we're gonna go ahead and add some concealer and stuff to highlight it later on. So you don't wanna start with a light foundation and then lighten it with concealer and then it's become ghostly. I always say that it helps if you just start off with like either the your skin tone or a shade a little bit darker and go from there. Okay, so now that I have that blended all out, I'm gonna go on with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This concealer is absolutely amazing. It is super full coverage. Um, it's a little bit on the pricey side. It's not super cheap or inexpensive, but it's totally worth it. It gets the job done and it adds that coverage that you need. And what I like to do also is go down here with it and connect it to this side. The reason why I do that is because I used to like just put it over here, over here, on my forehead and on my chin, and I'll blend it out and notice that at the end I'll have like a, it'll just look weird in this area because it was like a gap, if that makes sense. So I just say put the concealer there because it, um, it makes it look amazing in the end. Now that we have a concealer laid down, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, as you can see, you can see where the concealer stops and where my foundation starts. You can see it kind of like a circle up here where the foundation starts or where the concealer starts and vice versa. So I like to go ahead and turn over my sponge where the foundation was. I like to just go over those edges to seamlessly blend the concealer in with the foundation. So remember how earlier I said you, you're gonna end up lighting the complexion up later when you start to add highlights? This is kind of the part I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and lighten up my T-zone area a little bit more because this is a drag look, so I want it to be super bright. And even if it wasn't a drag look, some people like a bright highlight and you can use this technique. Um, so I'm gonna go in with a concealer that's one shade lighter than, or a couple shades lighter than the Too Faced Born This Way one. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me 
uh, concealer in the shade, it's called Deep Fonte. I'm just gonna put a little dab um, here, 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 and here. And now when we blend this out, we wanna make sure that we kinda like center it more towards the center of the face and don't really drag it out too far. We wanna create a gradient. I say gradient a lot on this channel, but we wanna create a nice blend. So we're gonna try to focus that in like the inner portion of our face. I'm talking about like this is gonna be a dry look. I feel like this look is gonna be pretty like neutral and natural. You probably could wear this out to the club and still look fine, honestly. So now that my highlights are on, I'm gonna go ahead and start to sketch in my eyebrow. I can't find my cream palette that I would normally use to do my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna use my, literally my liquid lipstick in black and like sketch my eyebrows in. Don't judge me, please. And we're gonna give ourselves a nice snatched brow. I love black brows. I think they're amazing. And we're gonna start where the brow actually starts and then cut through the brow. Just like that. It's key to start where the br your actual brows start to then kind of like go through the middle of your brow and then just kind of like curve up where the arch is. That's kind of where you want to like place your brow. So now that the eyebrow is on, I'm gonna go ahead and take that same uh, Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and like kind of sketch it out to create a nice sharp brow. All right, cool. So as you can see, I have both eyebrows on now. Um, remember, they're supposed to be sisters, not twins. This one I think is a little bit thicker than the other one, but who cares? And the first powder I'm gonna go in with is the uh, MAC setting powder in the color Peach. Um, this powder is a little bit more finely milled, so I feel like it'll really fill in the, the cracks a lot easier. And I'm gonna go in on top of that with some Cody Airspun. And now that that is on, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Cody Airspun powder, which is like a drag queen's like holy grail setting powder. And when I go back in the second time to set my whole entire face, when I go over my eyebrows, I like to really press the powder into my eyebrows again because I feel like that really reinforces the glue and really makes sure things lay a little bit smoother. And as you can see, my face is a little bit more lighter. That's the reason why I kind of reinforce like when you go on with your foundation like that, make sure you get a color that's either your skin tone or a little bit darker because once you add the highlights and the powders, your skin tone will lighten up. It's just how it is. Um, or you can get a setting powder that's closer to your skin tone as well. That works as well. All right, you guys, I'm back. As you guys can see, I went ahead and did one eye off camera. This is the eye look. It's kind of like a cranberry, smoky, sultry eye. <laughs> I put some stones around the eye because I love stones. I have so many. You don't have to use the stones if you don't want. You can just keep it at the smokiness and like with the liner. That's it. Um, let's go ahead and get up into this look. We're going to be using two palettes for this look today. I'm going to be using the Alexis Stone Instinct Palette and I'm also going to be using Morphe 39A Palette. So we have the Alexis Stone Palette and the Morphe 39A Palette. Doo, doo. Literally two shades out of here, one shade out of here, so three shades all together. If you guys don't have these particular palettes, you can just use colors that are similar. It'll still get the job done. Sometimes it's not about the name of the palette, it's about how you apply it, so that's all that matters. So we're gonna go on with our first color. Just brush it all over. And this part could be messy. It's gonna be a transition shade, so it can be messy because we're gonna like create a gradient. I like to kind of like put it in my brow a little bit. like that. The next shade we're going with is like this like plum color here. This is our cranberry shade. Hopefully it shows up that way on camera. 
We're gonna go ahead and dip into that shade and we're gonna go ahead and just layer that right under. So like I always say, we're creating a gradient, a blend. <music> It's like a really, really dark brown. So this one we're gonna go ahead and use uh, Morphe 39A palette. This, guys, I'm not gonna show you this palette because it's super, actually, I'm gonna show you if I get Look at this. <laughs> guys, I've had this palette for like four years and it's been with me through a lot. I've traveled with this, it's been banged around, like it has been through a lot, but it still gets the job done. There's this really nice dark, dark, dark brown shade that I wanna go ahead and use and we're gonna just swirl our brush. This is the same exact brush that we use for the burgundy shade. I'm using the same exact brush. Didn't even take any product off. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush, dip it in there, and we're gonna literally just stamp it all over our lid. Literally just. Now that that part is done, we can go ahead and move on to the lower lash line, which is even more simpler. Is that even more simpler? Is that even a word? Even simpler? Which is very simple as well. <laughs> we're basically gonna take the same colors we put on top and put them on the bottom, minus the reds. So we're gonna take that cranberry shade that we use, and I wanna just flush this all under the eye. And we're gonna connect it to what's up here. If your eye looks bruised, you're doing it correctly. All right, so now we're gonna move on to that brown shade again. We're gonna go back to our Morphe 39A palette and I'm gonna take that brown shade, but this I'm gonna use a smaller brush, um, like a brush with like a tapered end, I guess, and we're gonna just hug the waterline. <music> All right, so I let this eyelash dry long enough. I'm gonna just stick it on. All right, cool, so lashes are on. And the contact lenses that I use are Desio lenses, and um, the, co the, the color that I'm using right now is called Cappuccino, so uh, go ahead and get you some. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description box as well, because a lot of people ask me what, how, you know, what contacts I use. They're Desio. I like to like clean them before I put them in, even though I have them sitting in saline solution. I like to like kind of rinse them off before I put them in my eye. And I become a pro at putting in contact lenses. Watch how easy I get these in there, watch guys. Burning. Mm, ooh. We're good. All right, so because I'm extra and I like to glow a little bit, I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt um, foil uh, highlighter, like hexagon, is it hexagon? I don't know. I'm gonna take this little bitty like bullet brush, get some highlighter, spray it, and then apply it to my, um, I guess, tear duct area. Like that, put a little bit more over here, cause. <sighs> cool guys, this is basically the eye complete. The last thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just add some finishing touches. You don't have to do this part, but I'm gonna go ahead and take some stones, kinda like the stones you see over here, like the little gems. I'm gonna just place them around my eye. Um, again, you don't have to do this. You can stop right here and be completely done. I'm gonna go ahead and like be extra because, honey, I am a drag queen and I need to have that that extra, mm. and they look amazing on stage, guys. Like for real. Like if you ever want to like wow the audience or wow a crowd, or even if you walk some places like nightclubs, stuff like that. Not just yet because we're like chill drinking place, but when we get back out there, put stones around your eye. I'm telling you, when you put crystals around your eye, it really, 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 really makes your eyes pop. So I'm gonna put one right here. 
It's just like regular old spear gum. Boop. All right, you guys, so what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do is just finish the rest of my face on camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, the rest of this makeup tutorial is gonna be a speed through, so put some headphones in, grab some popcorn, grab a drink, and just enjoy the rest of this transformation. Um, let's go ahead and get into it right now. Alright you guys, that is it for this cranberry smoky eye. Of course I had to add some extra stuff to it to make it more drag, so I'll add the stones, but you can honestly do this look and not even add any stones to it. You can just do the, the smoky eye with the liner, call it a day. But of course I added some jewels just so it can kind of like amp it up and like make it a little more drag, you know. Whatever. If you guys liked what you saw today, please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up because it helps me out a ton and it just lets me know that you guys are, that you guys like what I'm putting out. Also consider subscribing to this channel because I have videos coming for you guys every single week and I would love to have you guys a part of the family. Moving forward guys, I wanna start creating looks that you wanna see as well. So I'm having fun coming up with concepts and looks and creating them for you. But I mean like if you guys see something online that you wanna see me try to recreate, please tag me. Um, you can leave that in the comment section down below or you can follow me on Instagram and and tag me there because I would love to recreate different looks because I'm just having fun creating stuff for you guys. Um, makeup is literally a huge part of my life and it literally brings me so much therapy, and especially during these crazy times right now. It's really bringing me, um, just making me feel sane and making me feel good. Um, as you guys know, with the race, um, police brutality, um, we are at a really low point right now. Um, right now, I just we just need light in the world. We need to shed some light. So I'm trying to create content for you guys. Um, if you guys are looking for ways to donate or just different ways you can give back and help, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in my description box. You guys can go ahead and click that link and it's gonna be a list of organizations that you guys can donate to read up on, GoFundMes, things like that. Please check that out. Please give all that you can. It helps us out a lot and just shows that you care. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.